Experiment Transistor Characteristics Transistor is a 3 terminal PN junction semiconductor. The 3 terminals of transistors are emitter, collector and base. Emitter is heavily doped and moderate in size. Therefore, it supply majority charge carriers. Collectors is moderately doped and large in size. Therefore, it collects major portion of the majority charge carriers emitted by the emitter terminal. Base is lightly doped and small in size. Therefore, it transfers the charge carriers. There are two types of transistor. They are NPN transistor and PNP transistor. This transistor can be connected in three different modes of configuration such as common emitter, common collector and common base. Among these three configuration, common emitter configuration is most preferred one because gain is high. The application of transistors are Transistors are used as amplifier and also switching circuits in electronic devices such as radio and television. Aim of the experiment to study the output characteristics of a transistor in CE configuration and hence to calculate current gain and output resistance. Apparatus required. Transistor board consists of suitable transistor and resistor. Micro ammeter, milli ammeter and digital voltmeter connecting wires. Procedure The transistor characteristics board consists of suitable transistor and resistor. Both are inbuilt in the circuit. Two analog meters are provided in order to measure current in terms of micro in terms of milli. A one digital voltmeter is provided to measure voltage. Here two power supplies are available. First one is, is the input source which it is also named as VBB and the second one is output source it is also named as VCC. In the circuit the solid line represent internally connected. Whenever there is no connection we can make use of extra connecting wires in order to complete the circuit. In the circuit always Red color represent positive terminal and green color represent negative terminal for the corresponding component. In the circuit, IB is the base current, it is input current. VBE is the base to emitter voltage, it is the input voltage. Where IC is the collector current, it is output current. Similarly, VCE is the collector to emitter voltage, it is called as output voltage. Now let us rig up the circuit. Initially, I am connecting input source to the input circuit because there is no connection between the source and the circuit here. Similarly, from output source to output circuit. Now, input current is measured in microamps. Therefore, connect input current to micro ammeter. Here polarity is very important. Similarly, output current is measured in milliamps. Therefore, connect output current to milliammeter. Since we are going to study the output characteristics of a transistor, we want output voltage. Therefore, I am going to connecting output voltmeter to output voltage. Green to green, red to red. So now the circuit is ready for output characteristics. Suppose if we want to study the input characteristics of a transistor, just by changing the voltmeter that is voltage line, output voltage to input voltage. So this circuit is ready for the input characteristics. Anyhow, let us go for the output characteristics itself. So I am connecting it to back. Observation and calculation. Here, the formula to find output resistance R0 is equal to delta VCE by delta IC in ohms, where delta VCE is the change in collector to emitter voltage in volts 
and delta IC is the change in collector current in amps. Similarly, current gain beta is equal to delta IC by delta IB where beta is the current gain, delta IC is the collector current in amps and IB is the base current in amps. Current amplification factor represented by alpha which is equal to beta by 1 plus beta. Now let us move to the tabular column. So this is the tabular column to study the output characteristics and hence to calculate the output resistance. In this uh, tabular column initially we have to fix input current 60 micro ampere constant for which we have to vary the output voltage in steps of 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 till 1 volt and the corresponding collector current in milliamps should be recorded. This is for first trial. Similarly for the second trial we have to fix input current 80 microamps for which we have to repeat the same process by varying the output voltage in steps of 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 till 1 volts and the corresponding collector current or the output current should be recorded. The same thing will perform in the experimental board. Switch on the power supply. Now set input current 60 microamps constant. Here input current in order to vary the input current we have to use input source. So this is the input source. Use input source and set input current. IB is fixed 60 microamps constant using input source. Now vary the voltage using output source in steps of 0.1 and the corresponding output current can be recorded. So see here now for 0.1 volts the corresponding current is 5. Let us record the same thing in the manual for 0 voltage current is 0 for 0.1 voltage the corresponding current is 6. Similarly, vary the voltage in steps of 0.1 till 1 and record the value of IV. Like this. Like this. Keep on vary the voltage and note down the corresponding current. Once the values are recorded in the tabular column, the, the values will be like this. So this is for base current 60 microamps, this is for 80 microamps. Now let us plot the graph for the output characteristics to calculate output resistance. By taking output voltage in volts along x axis and output current in milliamps along y axis. Here the scale for this graph is x axis 1 cm is equal to 0 0.1 volts, y axis 1 cm is equal to 2 milliamps. Once you plot the graph for the recorded readings you will get a graph like this. So here we have two curve, one for IB 60 microamps, another one for IB 80 microamps. Once the graphs are plotted, draw the slope and calculate output resistance R0. Output resistance is a reciprocal of slope which is equal to delta VCE by delta IC. That can be calculated which is equal to 100 ohm. This is a tabular column to study the transfer characteristics and hence to calculate current gain. Here we have to fix output voltage 4 volt constant for which we have to vary input current in microamps in steps of 10, 20, 30 till 70 microamps. For that the corresponding output current in milliamps should be recorded. For the second set fix output voltage 6 volt and 
vary the base current or input current in steps of 10 20 30 and note down the collector current let us perform the same in the experimental board now set output voltage 4 volt constant using output source Now your output voltage is set at to 4 volt using output source. Now vary the input current IB using input source in steps of 10, 20, 30. So I am fixing IB to 10 microamps. Just observe the corresponding output current in the meter. Here output current is showing 4. Let us tabulate the values in the tabular column. For 0 current, input current, output current is also 0. For 10 microamps input current, the corresponding collector current is 4. Likewise, vary the input current, note down the corresponding output current. Like this. Similarly, vary the input current to 20, 30, 40, like this. And Record the readings of output current. For the second set, set output voltage to 6 volts and repeat the same process by varying the input current and note down the collector current or output current. Let us plot the graph for this transfer characteristics. After taking the two sets, the tabular, tabular column will be like this. Now let us plot the graph for transfer characteristics and hence to study the current gain. By taking input current IB in microamps along X axis and output current IC in milliamps along Y axis. The scale for this graph is X axis 1 cm is equal to 10 microamps, Y axis 1 cm is equal to 2 milliamps. Now, plot the graph for the output characteristics from the values which is recorded. The graph will be like this. So, here two straight line curve we can observe. One for the 4 volt output voltage constant. Another curve for 6 voltage, six voltage constant. So here by drawing the slope to the straight line curve, one can get the current gain that is beta. Beta is equal to delta IC by delta IB. Here beta is nothing but it is a, the slope itself a beta value. Now substitute the traced value from the slope and get the value of beta that is current gain. It is 307. Once the beta is calculated, we can easily find out the current amplification factor alpha. We know the formula already. Substitute beta value and get the value of alpha. It is 0.996. Alpha values always it must be less than 1. Result. Output resistance R0 is equal to 100 ohm. Current gain beta which is equal to 307. Current amplification factor alpha which is equal to 0.996.